Gethsemane and Peter denies Jesus. After celebrating the Passover meal, Jesus led his disciples to the Mount of Olives. All of you will desert me for God has declared it through the prophets he said. I will kill the shepherd, and the sheep will scatter. But after I am raised to life again, I will go to Galilee and meet you there. Peter said to him, I will never desert you no matter what the others do. Peter, Jesus said, before the cock crows a second time tomorrow morning you will deny me three times. No. Peter insisted. Not even if I have to die with you. I will never deny you. The other disciples vowed the same. Later, they came to an olive grove called the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him. He told the others, sit here, while I go and pray. Jesus was filled with deep distress. He told Peter, James and John, my soul is crushed by sorrow to the point of death. Stay here, watch, and pray with me. Jesus went on a little farther and fell to the ground and prayed that if it were possible the awful hour awaiting him might never come. Father. Father, he pleaded, everything is possible for you. Take away this cup from me. Yet I want your will and not mine. Jesus returned to find the three disciples asleep. Jesus woke them and told Peter, watch with me and pray lest the tempter overpower you. For though the spirit is willing enough, the body is weak. Jesus returned the second and third time after more prayer, the three disciples had fallen asleep once more. The third time Jesus returned to them he said, the time for sleep has ended. Look. I am betrayed into the hands of wicked men. Come. Get up. We must go. Look. My betrayer is here. That moment Judas arrived with a crowd equipped with swords and clubs, sent out by the chief priests and other Jewish leaders. Judas had agreed to show them who Jesus was by greeting him with a kiss. The men seized Jesus and arrested him. Peter drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his ear. But Jesus told Peter to put his sword away. Don't resist any more Jesus said. Then he reached out touched the place where the man's ear had been and restored it. Jesus was led off to the high priest's residence. All the other disciples deserted Jesus and fled. John and Peter followed Jesus but kept their distance. Peter followed into the courtyard of the high priest and sat with the guards, warming himself by the fire. The chief priests and Jewish leaders were looking for evidence against Jesus so that they could put him to death, but they did not find any. Many testified falsely against him, but their statements did not agree. Some claimed, we heard him say, I will destroy this temple made with human hands and in three days will build another, not made with hands. The high priest asked Jesus. Are you not going to answer? But Jesus remained silent. Are you the Messiah? The Son of the Blessed One? The high priest asked. I am. And you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the Mighty One and coming on the clouds of heaven. At hearing this the high priest tore his clothes. Why do we need any more witnesses he asked. You have heard this blasphemy. What do you think? They shouted, Crucify him. Crucify him. Crucify him. They spit at Jesus, blindfolded him, struck him with their fists, and said, Prophesy. Then the guards took him out and beat him. While Peter was in the courtyard, one of the servant girls of the high priest came by. She looked closely at Peter and said, You were with that Nazarene, Jesus. Peter denied it. I don't know what you're talking about. Out by the gate, another girl noticed him and said to those standing around, This man was with Jesus. Again Peter denied it, I don't know the man. Some men who had been standing there came over to Peter and said, We know you are one of his disciples, for we can tell by your Galilean accent. Peter began to curse and swear. I do not know who you are talking about he denied for the third time. Immediately the cock crowed. Jesus turned and looked at Peter. Peter remembered what Jesus had said earlier, before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Then he went away and cried bitterly. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Share and leave a comment. Subscribe.